Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here, of course, with Dental Level Tutoring. Now, I wanted to do a quick video for my lovely students um, that are having a hard time right now, okay? I posted um, videos about this in the past because if you haven't seen them yet, I took dental hygiene school twice and I cried every day. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not lying, I'm not exaggerating, I swear I cried every day. Um, the dental hygiene program tested me as a person. I didn't realize that I was as strong as I was because it's tough. Dental assisting and dental hygiene is very, very tough, but it's worth it. Hang in there. So a lot of my students have been emailing me saying that they feel like a teacher doesn't like them, that a teacher hates them, that a teacher is pretty much just not helping them. If they ask questions, they might be giving you a mark that you feel is, is unfair. And trust me, I have been there and I have been where you are. Um, I had two teachers actually specifically in school that would literally fail me on everything. In pre-clinic, they would fail me and I would ask why. And they would say, because my arm is either too high, too low, my head was too high, whatever, right? Um, is that reason to fail a student? I don't think so, but it's reason to stop them and correct the behavior. And I was always so annoyed because I said, you know, in practice, you always said I did fine, I didn't need to change anything, and then when I go to take my test, you tell me my arm is all of a sudden too high, even though I haven't changed anything since you said I was doing fine. So believe me, I've been there, and I do, some programs, some, some schools, some teachers will probably not like me saying this, but I truly think that there are teachers out there that just hate what they do. They're having a bad day, they're having a bad month, they're having a bad year, and they know they have the power. They know they have the power to pass you. They know they have the power to fail you, and they know they have the power to make you happy or miserable. That's probably not something that you wanna hear, but you know that I am always honest. And let me honestly say that it does happen. You're not the first student that has felt like they've been being picked on or that they are being, you know, getting bad marks for no reason. But I'll tell you how to change it and I'll tell you how I changed it. What you have to do is you have to change your outlook because if you just simply say to yourself and if you simply have a pity party with yourself, it will bring you down, you will become sad and you will not be able to continue because you will be so sad, so angry that that will sort of take over, you know? So push above it, okay? I want you all to think positive and think, yes, these teachers or teacher doesn't like me, but I will show them that I am the smartest person in that room. I will show them that no matter what I do, they cannot bring me down. There are teachers, there are people in general out there that smell fear, okay? And they will do everything they can to bring you down, but don't let them. Act happy all the time, even if you're not. If they give you a bad mark, don't get mad, don't get sad, don't get angry, rise above it and say, okay, um, I see that I got this mark here. Um, how can I improve it for next time? Because clearly I'm doing something wrong. Inside your head, you are probably thinking, you know, F this, F that. It's not my fault. It's their fault. But don't let on that that's how you feel. Say, okay, um, I got this mark. How can I correct it? How can I change it? Um, and it works. It works. I'm telling you, every time I've been in school, I had at least one teacher do this to me. Recently, when I took um, restorative hygiene about three years ago, oh my gosh, I had one teacher, I hope she's not watching this, if she is, she knows who she is, who would bring me down, who I swear would pick on me. I was always the first one there, the last one to leave, because she always had to talk to me about something, she always had to correct something she would be sitting there working with me yet all of the other students were able to go on lunch even though I was doing the same things that they were doing they would come over to see my work and say um Andrea it's perfect it looks just like ours yet the teacher would come over and say it looked horrible I'm not listening I'm not paying attention I'm never going to work I'm never going to pass I'm going to be a horrible um restorative hygiene Yes, she actually said these things, but you know, and this 
happened to me before. So I think I just attract people who want to bring me down. And thankfully, though, I have the type of personality where I will not let them. And that's exactly what happened. I knew I was doing a good job. But just because I know that, she's the one who gives me a pass or a fail. So I just simply said, okay, um, you know what? Can I meet with you every day after school so you can help me? Because I want to be the best person I can be. I want to be the best um, restorative hygienist that I can be. Inside my head, I'm thinking, you're an idiot. I know I'm doing everything right. I'm just being honest here. Um, I would talk to my mom, dad, um, anybody who would listen and say, I have a teacher who hates me. What the hell do I do? You know, I was so angry. But that's what I decided to do, and it worked. She would meet with me every day after school. I didn't want to be there. I know I didn't have to be there. I was exhausted, but I would just ask her questions. I would ask her questions where I knew the answers to because I knew she needed to feel that power, that she had something over me. And then if she showed me something that I already knew, I, I would lie and say, Wow, that makes so much more sense now. Thank you so much. You are an amazing teacher. I could get in a lot of trouble for being so honest here, but that's what I did. She needed to feel good for herself, okay? And then she let loose. She let me do my own thing. Magically, I was getting good marks, passing everything, and she loved me because I stroked her ego, okay? I'm being honest here, you guys. So you need to do the same thing. Don't let it bring you down. Don't be sad. Don't be depressed. Talk to your teachers and say, you know what? You are such a smart teacher. You know, I can tell. Can you please help me? Because I want to be the best person I can be. And clearly I'm doing something wrong. Try not to cry. Cry when you get home. That's what I did. Hold it in. Cry in the washroom for half an hour if you have to, but don't cry in front of them because they smell fear and they sense it and they will attack. So please don't give in. Um, do whatever you can to make it work. Has anybody here seen the movie um, Legally Blonde? I believe the first one because there's two or three movies that she has. Watch that movie. It says it perfectly, okay? Um, Elle Wood, that's the name. She did something where nobody thought she could, okay? To just sort of um, recap. Um, but I don't want to give away the movie either. So let's just say she did something that um, her teachers, her friends, her family didn't think she could. She worked hard. She would show them, well, you know what? I am smarter than all of you. And that's what she did. And in the end, she was above. She was amazing. So that's what I want you all to do. Watch that movie if you want to for some inspiration. It will work. It is called Legally Blonde. And if you are still having a hard time, please comment below and I can and I will help. Just keep your chin up and cry behind closed doors. Act happy even when you're not. Think positive and be positive. Do not let your mind bring you down. Think positive, never negative, and good luck. Let me know if you need anything.